Hi, my name is John Osman, and real quick, I'm going to teach you how to install the Laragon WAMP stack. If you don't know what a WAMP stack is, look it up. I'm not your mother. I'm going to teach you how to install it on your Windows machine and also upgrade two of its main components, the Apache web server and the PHP programming language, because Laragon's getting a little old, a little agey, and it doesn't come with the latest of those two components. So we got a lot to cover, so let's go. Start out here at laragon.org. Click on the download link. From here, you want to download the full version. Unless you want the portable version, that's fine. I've already done that. It's over here in my downloads folder, right there, laragon underscore wamp.exe. Next place you need to go is the apache lounge.com. Come over here to the downloads page and download this right here. It's, it's, it's 2.4.58. Once again, I've already done that. So here it is in my downloads folder. I've also checked, ran the checksum utility. If you click on that, you'll find some checksums. And here's the utility you need to run to make sure you got the right file. Each one will have its own checksum. You just check it against these. Whatever the, the utility puts out, you paste it in here and you visually compare them. If you don't know how to do that, look it up. I'm not your mother. Next place you go is to php.net. Click on downloads. Click on Windows downloads if you're on a Windows machine like I am. Under the 3.3 section, you want to come down here to the thread safe section. Download the zip file right here. Then also, for good measure, we're going to get both 8.2 and 8.3. Go down to the thread safe and get the zip file. So that's what I have in my downloads folder here. I have the Laragon WAMP EXE. I have the Apache web server. I have the two different languages that I want of PHP, 8.2 and 8.3. So let's get started. I'm going to right click on this and choose run as administrator. Isn't this fun? Isn't this great? I'm going to get through this so quick and teach you how to do this so that you can make Laravel applications on your Windows machine. English, okay. Um, I'm putting this on an external drive, which has the drive letter E. I want E Laragon. I don't want those old folders. Click on Next. I don't want it to run when Windows starts. Click on Next. Click on Install. With the check in the Run Laragon box, I click on Finish, and here is Laragon installed on my Windows machine. If I click on Start All, you'll see it'll start the Apache web server. After initializing some data, it'll start MySQL. There you go. There it is, all started up. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this database button, and it's going to open up something called Heidi SQL, which is a great program, but I'm not that familiar with it. I would rather use PHP MyAdmin. What these do is they allow you to interact with your database without having to type in a lot of commands. It's a graphical user interface for your database, but we want PHP MyAdmin for that. So let me stop the services. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? Once those services get stopped, you come to Menu. By the way, I didn't right-click on that. Just doing a regular click brings you a pop-up menu there. And I come down to Tools, Quick Add, PHP My Admin. It's going to go out and get PHP My Admin from wherever out on the Internet. It's going to extract it. doesn't take too long. And once that closes, we're going to start them services back up again. Here we go. Start. And now when I click on the database button, it opens up PHP My Admin in a new tab in the web browser. Log in with root and no password because I'm on a local machine, so that's okay. Go ahead and log in. And you can see, let me get myself out of the way. And you can see that it's a PHP 8.1 and Apache 2.4.54. We want to upgrade both of these, okay? So let me bring my good looking self back on in and come back to Laravel. Stop the services. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to those downloads folder files that we had. Remember, I've already checked some of these and I've already scanned them with my antivirus. You should do the same. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this, but I want to extract it to a certain location. Let me get the location. I'll come back here to Laragon, hit click on root. Now, that takes you to the www root, which is your web root. What I want to go is actually Laragon's installation root. Go in here to bin, find Apache. This right here is where I want to put this, but I want to have it have a similar name as what you got here, but I want it to be in this location. So I'm going to copy this path, come back over here to my downloads folder, and then right click, choose extract all. And you can see it's already going to have the right name there, but this part here is not right. I don't want it to go to C downloads. I want it to go to this path right here. And Always check to make sure you got your slashes right, because I do it all the time. I, I get rid of a slash and they're all smooshed together, or I put in too many slashes, but this looks right. So hit extract. That wasn't too bad. 
Okay, so back over here in Apache, you see I now have 0.58, right? But there is a problem. And I only know this from making this mistake over and over again. If you go in, well, let me go into the other one. See, if I go into the 0.54, see, there's the entire application and all of its components, right? If I go into this one, ah, it's inside of that folder there. So what I got to do is jump in that folder, do a select all. And by the way, make sure you have the view, your, your hidden files turned on, because sometimes there's hidden files in there and you want to make sure you're getting them all. So control A is a select all. And then just drag them to where they need to be, which is right here in this 0.58 folder right there. And they said, just asking you about readme.txt. That's fine. Just go ahead and let it replace. That's just one little file. You're not going to read it anyway, even though it says readme. But anyway, this Apache 24 folder is now empty, so you can delete that. So now this looks just like the other one. And if I go back over to Laragon, go to the menu. Remember, that's just a regular click. Go to Apache. It has a version component here, right? Well, see, look, now there's two versions. So I can select the 2.4.58, start all, it didn't take too long, hit the database, and now here in PHP My Admin, now it says I'm running P Apache 2.4.58. Isn't that exciting? We just upgraded a web server. Unbelievable. Let me close that back up, go back to Laragon, stop the services again, because we're going to do the same thing now with the PHP programming language. Go back to this folder and to the bin, and we're looking for PHP now. And we want this path to copy so that it doesn't, doesn't go to the, uh, the wrong location. And then we'd have to move it manually. So to save us a little time, right click on this, extract all, get rid of this downloads path here, paste that in, double click visually, look at it, make sure you got the right amount of slashes right there. I do it all the time, make a mistake. Okay, extract that. All right, do, let's do the same thing here for 8.3, extract all. Replace the path. You see how I'm leaving that S there? I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to get rid of it and then hit delete one more time. See, I could have made a mistake there. Visually look at it. Make sure it's right. Okay, extract that. Okay, and I'm all done with downloads, so I'm going to go ahead and close the downloads folder. And then in here, if you click on the menu, PHP, see it's got a version area, right? And now look, you got all these other versions. We're going to take a step at a time. I'm going to go to 8.2 and start it up, hit database and see what it's running. Look, 8.2.14. Close that, go back to Laragon, stop, switch it over to 8.3, and let's see if that one's working. Start it all back up again, database, and now it's running 8.3.1. So I hope you got a lot out of that video. We installed Laragon, then we upgraded two of its components, which are getting kind of old, and the people at Laragon, they're great, but uh, you know, you got to keep up. We need Apache 2.4.58, and we need PHP version 8.3 and 8.2. Anyway, my name is John Osmond. I'm a database developer. Find me on prodbdevelopers.com, and I got contact information there. You can hire me. I am available for hire. I'll talk to you later.